Hi friends, it's author Ashley Ryan. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment. I try to reply back to everyone. But first, before we get to Kindle Vela, I want to talk about my lighting. So it's called the UV Size, and it came from Amazon. It was twenty dollars. I love a good deal, and you can change the brightness of it. Let's see, and then it also has this is like the daytime one, and it has a cooler one and then also a warmer look. I really like it. It's neat. It also has a, um, a phone holder so that you can connect your phone if you wanted to record. If you want to try your own YouTube channel, you can connect your phone. I'm not big on that. I'd much rather record on my laptop than record on my phone, but I love the lighting. It looks, it looks really good. The only thing I don't like is if you get really close to it, you see it reflects in, in my glasses. I don't like that, but other than that, you know, what can I say? I think it's doing pretty good. For $20, that's pretty great. So anyway, yes, it's called the UV Size. And it came from Amazon. It's their tripod for your desk. So if you want to be interested in recording your own videos, you can give that a check. Check that out. But today's video is about Kindle Vela. So that is a new platform that Amazon is starting. I got the email yesterday. It was sent out to all authors about the platform being developed and about us also like readying our stories for Kindle, Kindle Bella for the launch of their website in a couple of months. So I'm guessing because it's had a couple of months, I'm figuring it'll probably be about June, um, maybe July, but probably June would be my guess of when they would release Kindle Bella simply because um, you know, everybody's out for the summer and uh, this seems like it's geared towards a younger audience. It's really, um, like the purpose is to be read on your Kindle app on your phone. That's kind of why the stories are shorter and the, the way they work, they're in a serial. So, which is really awesome because that's the way I love to write anyway. That's my favorite. The Centennial High and the Wolfpack series, that's all. It's a serial. It follows like episodes. So, it's just like perfect for me. I'm so, so excited about getting some, um, some of my work uh, posted and published on the Vela. So, I will be working on that. I'll be working on, actually, I've decided to do a prequel to the Centennial High series. So on Bella, exclusively, I will have the prequel to Centennial High, and it will be from War's point of view, which is so exciting. <laughs> so excited. I'm so excited to get started on that. Um, I have covers for it. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work, because when you go to upload it, it shows like um just like an image. It said it doesn't even have to be a book cover. So that's going to be really interesting to see uh, what exactly the platform itself, what it looks like, what it ends up being. And the books on there are, it's it's bro broken up into episodes. So it says the first three episodes are free. So for any author that you choose as a reader, the first three episodes of their book are free so that you can see if you like the book enough that you want to actually purchase more episodes of it so it is it's, it's like um like a tv show in the sense that every week whatever you tune in and you get you know a bit more and a bit more and a bit more you know from what i understand i've been listening on facebook people are talking it sounds like a lot like wattpad which i'm not um i'm not on wattpad i'm not a, a member of it so i'm not really familiar exactly what goes on over there but but the stories on Amazon, it will be episodes. So the episodes are anywhere from 500 words, five or 600 words to 5,000 words max. So um, it's really, I mean, 5,000 words is probably about like what, 10, 10 minutes of reading, maybe it just depends on how quickly you read. So each episode can be up into that length. And so, like I said, you get the first three episodes for free. And then you use tokens, which is something interesting, a little bit different. You use tokens. You purchase like, you know, a bundle of tokens for whatever. And then, you know, you use your tokens to purchase the rest of the stories. So I think this is really interesting. I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to go over. I think it's going to be really, um, I think it's going to go over really well with a younger audience. I think like teenagers or you're in your 20s, you're more on the go. You're more, you know, you only have maybe 10 minutes to sit and read something and then go on to class or do whatever. Whereas us that are older, we, um, you know, we have time to sit and actually read a whole book. So, you know, from the feedback <laughs> that I've heard so far online from, you know, different pages I've posted to just asking, what do you guys think about this? Do you think it will go over well? Are you excited? 
a lot of the older audience is like, no, they aren't interested in it. They don't want anything to do with it. You know, the, to them, it's almost like um, the same consensus over and over is that they want to purchase the entire book so they can read it all, all at once. And so, you know, Vela is not going to be like that. You know, it's, it's going to be you purchase episode by episode. From what I understand, like I said, I don't have a ton of information on it. It's a very rudimentary, the limited amount of information I have so far. I said, but what I have seen so far, I am super excited about publishing on it because I think it'll be, it's a lot of fun. I really like writing that way, writing like a TV show, writing in um, an episodes in a series. It's really called a serial. It's not actually a series, um, but a serial is when you write um, it follows the same storyline, the same characters, whatever. It's like a soap opera, and it just follows along, and then um, it can be pretty lengthy. So that's the thing, too, is if you follow along with the authors that you really like, they could be writing for a long time <laughs> about the same group of people, which I really like because once I get attached to characters, I'm really attached to them. And I want to find out what happens to them. And I want to find out what happens in their lives. And I think that's why the Centennial High and the Wolfpack series is really, um, it is my favorite, my favorite uh, group of people, <laughs> characters that I've written so far because I just enjoy so much where their life is going, where it's headed. Like I said, Centennial High, they're in high school and the Wolfpack, they've moved on to college at the University of Michigan. And then the prequel will be all about war and his whole point of view. And of course, where he meets Gemma, you know, all this is just so much fun. But that'll also be in high school because it has to begin where um, before Centennial High. So it's just very exciting about the things going on and the Amazon being innovative, you know, trying to um, reach out to a younger generation. I'm super, super excited to be a part of that. You get to be a part of that. It's really awesome. Really, really awesome. So anyway, I hope you guys will check out the Kindle Vela when it becomes available. But I'm also super interested in what are your opinions? Do you think that it will go over well? Do you feel like if you had, you know, a few minutes to read here and there that you'd want to catch up on, you know, a couple chapters of a story? Would you much rather just purchase the whole book? It'll be interesting, too, because Kindle Unlimited, I love Kindle Unlimited. I love paying a monthly fee and reading as much as I want to read. Well, you know, it's not like that on the Vela. It's, it's really, it's really different. And not only that, we can't publish our work on Vela and have it in Kindle Unlimited also. So we have to pick and choose, you know, where that's going to be. So will that affect the customers that have Kindle Unlimited? You know, unless Kindle Unlimited is for a mainly older audience. Like I said, you'd have to have the time to make Kindle Unlimited worth it. You have to have the time to actually be able to read. Now, with a younger generation that's more fast-paced, the Kindle Bella, you know, I, I really hope it's successful. I really do. I think it's, it's an interesting way of doing literature. Other people are mentioning, like Charles Dickens publishing uh, in his magazine. He released one chapter, you know, every um, every magazine. And so it's just an interesting and maybe not so fresh, <laughs> maybe not such a fresh idea, but it is. It's something that, like I said, the Wattpad has been doing from what I understand. But um, I really look forward. I really look forward to seeing what happens with the Kindle Bella. Um, I'm super excited. So just let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Will you be checking it out? I mean, if the first three episodes are free, at least you get to read in the beginning to see if you're hooked or not, or if you're like, okay, you know, I'll just move on to something else. Okay. So anyway, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Bye guys.